Now, in just under three weeks' time, the Rugby World Cup gets underway. England are hosting the tournament, of course, but several of the games will be held at the Millennium Stadium. ITV Cymru Wales will be providing full coverage of all Wales' pool games. And tonight is the official launch event at the stadium. Well, Dean Thomas is there for us tonight and excitement is certainly building. Yeah, that's uh, right, Andrea. The great and the good uh, of Welsh rugby are here for the official launch of ITV Wales's uh, World Cup coverage. Ex-players like uh, Adam Jones and Ryan Jones, they're here. Legends like Phil Bennett and our commentator uh, for all those games during the tournament, Eddie Butler, he's here as well. And that's just a flavour of some of the people who'll be giving uh, punditry and analysis uh, during uh, our coverage, which will be uh, in uh, HD. And I'm uh, delighted to say joining me now is Wales captain uh, Sam Warburton. Uh, Sam, yesterday, Warren Nathan his 31-man uh, squad for the players in it you must have uh, breathed uh, a sigh of relief yeah it was it was um it was good to see a lot of smiles on, the, on their faces today in training it was our first day in as a squad of 31 since it's, since it's been cut um and the boys are delighted you know everybody um never takes their, their place for granted in the Welsh squad so um it's been hard you know it's been a, a tough two three month pre-season but um you know massive award to get the to go all up to the 31-man squad on the weekend, uh, the win against Ireland in Dublin, uh, you know, a great win, a, a tough place to go and get a, and get a result. What is the squad uh, feeling like after 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 that great victory? I think you know, in these warm games, you sort of play them down a little bit in the press. Um, but from a confidence perspective, it was absolutely a massive win for us. You know, to go out to Ireland and Dublin, you know, they've only lost two of their last fifteen games, and both of which have been to Wales. So to go out there, I think they haven't lost there since two thousand and thirteen. It was a massive performance, and we're historically quite slow starters when it comes to campaigns, and it was the first game for a lot of those boys. And to put in that performance, um, and it was always going to go down to the wire when you play a quality side of Ireland, it always does. But um, you know, to kick on from this now, um, you know, it's great for momentum going into the World Cup. Obviously, you missed the game with with a shoulder knock. How, how is that at the moment? Yeah, it's okay. Um, if I had to play last weekend, I probably could have been available for selection. But you know, the medics just thought for the sake of three or four days extra rest, it was not worth risking re-injuring it and potentially missing four, five, six weeks. So it was a case of better safe than sorry. But just fortunate that we've got. Um, you know, such quality squad of back row players as Dan, Justin and Toby all showed on the weekend. So um, available for selection for this weekend and hope to have a run out here in the Millennium Stadium. Obviously a few weeks now until uh, the World Cup starts. We've got Uruguay first up here. The excitement really starts to build now. And after what happened four years ago and coming so close, I suppose there's you know, real desire for the squad to go one better this, uh, this time around. Yeah, it is. It's probably going to take as much effort to get out of the group this year as it did to get to the semis four years ago because the group is so tough. And... I think it would be disrespectful to look, you know, further than Fiji, England, Australia, and Uruguay because it's such an incredibly tough pool. Um, everyone's been talking about it for the last sort of 18 months since, since it was drawn, really. So, you know, once you get out of the pool, then um, I think all better off, and you know, you'd fancy a chance against anyone, really. So, once you get out of the pool, um, be interested to see what the draw is like then. Well, Sam, we wish you all the best of luck. You can be assured that the whole of Wales uh, will be uh, behind you, and uh, this is just the start of uh, ITV Wales's coverage, and we'll have all the build-up in the weeks to come.